Hi guys, I've got a real horror show for you today. No, I'm not referring to myself, but to these things here. A lot of the damage here occurred as a result of incorrect handling, such as using unnecessary greases and sealants. This water pump has a rubber seal and does not need any additional sealing materials. Despite that, a sealing compound paste was applied. This got between the mechanical seal and the pump, causing the water pump to leak. This one here is a particular horror story. You can't see any of the rubbering anymore. It's completely immersed in sealing compound paste. What actually happens to the sealants and greases when they're applied? I'll show you using an I.O. pump. To do so, I need to remove the impeller. Here's one I prepared earlier. Under the impeller, we find a mechanical shaft seal. This is a two-part seal. In other words, we have two seal elements, one on top of the other. If we now apply grease or sealant to the seal surface, they become separated at some point and are drawn into the impeller and can wrap around the mechanical shaft seal or also be drawn into the mechanical shaft seal. The seal can then no longer form a proper seal and leak occurs. The fundamental rule is, if a water pump has a metal, rubber or paper seal, you must not apply any additional sealants or greases unless there are any special specifications from the manufacturer. There are some water pumps that require a seal to be bonded in place. With such pumps, apply an approximately 1 to 2 mm thick bead, but no more than that, just a thin bead. It is always recommended that you flush the coolant system after a repair. This shows the important points to bear in mind. Okay, till next time in your workshop.